So what's going on people? So uh, earlier today, actually moments ago, because I think we just hit in stream like maybe within the last 10, 15 minutes. I was online doing a live with Life of a Broski. I had asked him if he wanted to do a kind of a double unboxing slash review thing because we both like a lot of the same shoes. So I figured why not tap into my little international friends and such and do a nice little video about that. So we did. The video lasted for a good while because as lives tend to do, we had a lot of conversation afterwards, but the sneakers jumped in and all that stuff. It was a really good time. If you happen to watch any of that, thank you to you. If you did not watch any of that, it's not too late because it's still there. If you want to watch the actual review of that shoe, that is going to come later, probably tomorrow, but we'll see what happens. But right now, what we're here to talk about is this. So, <clears throat> as you saw in the title, this is a pair of shoes that is not for me because I don't always only buy for myself. You know, you gotta, you gotta spread the wealth, as they say. And see, this thing is like crazy taped up. I think it was delivered on a rainy day or something. Anyways, Father's Day is coming up, right? And I haven't bought my dad a pair of shoes in a while. If you saw the last video I did, which was an Ultra Boost video, you saw that the last pair did go over pretty well. I'm hoping that this pair does too. Now, he's one of those outdoorsy guys, likes to be out there on the grill, likes to be out there building stuff or doing whatever. You know, he's just always in the yard because that's where he likes to be. So, I got him a little something that he can wear while he's out there doing whatever it is he's going to be doing. So if I can get into this box. So, this is a large box. Like, it's a little concerning. I wonder if everything's going to be okay in here, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Trying to get all into this. But anyway, so I bought him these. I wanted to get them for him for his birthday, but it just didn't quite work out that way. Okay, I was honestly not sure if this was the right thing or not because I have never seen a box like this. So that's why there's a little confusion. Maybe you saw it in my face. Then again, I feel like there's always a little confusion in my face. But anyways, so I saw these and I was thinking, all right, this is going to be for him, right? It likes to be outside. He's going to be doing stuff in case he gets dirty. These are fine. He's going to want to be comfortable. So from what I hear, this is going to match up for that side of the box, of course. So there's that for you, too. So it just made sense, right? So here we are. Gonna go ahead and open this up. I was hoping to get them for a cheaper price. These are pretty all right. I was hoping to get these for a cheaper price, but um, it just didn't work out, right? I think I ended up getting these for like 150 from Foot Action, something like that. They could have been lower. Had I bought them earlier, they would have been lower, but whatever, it doesn't much matter, you know? So here's this, here's this. These are looking pretty decent. What's that style? What's that style code? It just says desert. So as in desert camo, which is fine. So the thing is, part of the thing anyway, my dad, he was a, an army guy for 20 something years. And so, you know, army style things, right? And of course, people say that tens are comfortable. There's not gonna be any on foot slash sizing parts. So this is what you get. People say that tens are comfortable and fit true to size, so hopefully they are accurate when they say that. So he's gonna get these, he's gonna walk around in the yard, do whatever he's gonna do. If they get dirty, it's fine because you know they have that look to them, and he'll be comfortable. So there's that. But let's talk about the shoes, shall we? So now it is review time on this right here, the Air Jordan 10 in the Desert Camo, or sometimes called Duck Camo colorway. Huh. These are actually looking really nice. I kind of prefer the woodland one, but at least in pictures. But now I'm thinking that only because those have the all black outs, hopefully, from what I've seen. But whatever. Let's talk about these because this is what I have. Across the outsole, right? Typical stuff down there if you're familiar with Jordan 10s. I'm not, but some of you might be. So there's a lot of words on there talking about what he did over the years. So that's cool. And it's just kind of an alternating black and then with some sort of tannish color going on in there, which is fantastic, I suppose, you know, to talk about your accomplishments, even though you're walking around on the ground on them. I don't know. It's a mixed message. And then moving on from there, you got the midsole, right? 
So nothing looking too fancy about that, but it's nice as far as looks go, so I'll give it that. And then moving on to the upper, because there's not much else to say about that. So when you look at these, obviously you're just going to see a lot of camouflage stuff going on. And then when you look up closer, they do kind of have like an alternating print of like where the diagonal lines are. So it's kind of a nice little touch. And one thing that I do like about that overall styling of the shoes is that each one is different. Whereas those Ultra Boosts that I tend to review are often what's printed on one is just inverted on the left. Same with like the React Pressels and such. This is not that case. So the left one and the right one, totally different. And if I, and if you have a pair of these and you look at yours, they're also going to look different. So it's more like those Wings 5s than anything else. So I do like that. Shows a little bit of effort. Moving along though, this is all just kind of like layered out, so to speak. So you've got a layer here down on the bottom, same as on here. And then you've got one, two, three panels around. And then on the back, you've got the jump man on there because a Jordan would not be complete without Jordan, right? And then the rest of the shoe on the upper here, you've got some underwhelming leather, but you know, again, for what these are, it doesn't much matter. And along the laces, this is the first pair of tens I've actually ever looked at. And then along the laces here, nothing too crazy, but I do like the way they have these straps on them. Kind of reminds me of like a Jordan 11, sort of. So that's just kind of cool. And one thing that's weird to me, I've never seen this again because I've never looked at a pair of tens. Between the laces, there's this like stretchy kind of elastic sort of thing going on. I'm not sure. So that's actually connecting the two lace holders, but I don't know. It's just kind of a thing that is weird, but I don't have anything against it. Just odd. And also, I think the 97s have a, Air Max 97s have a similar lacing system. Could be wrong, but whatever. And then at the very top, topping things all off, you got, of course, the tongue. And across the top of that, you have Air Jordan 23 because, again, you got to remind people that this is a Jordan, right? And then a little tag on the back of there. I don't know how well that's going to come out, but that's where pictures come in. Showing you the Air Jordan Collection sticker. Not sticker, but like a patch in there. It's kind of got some nice colors going on. Let's go see what's on the inside of this, shall we? So, nothing. Very much nothing. It is just a black insole with a red drum man. Kind of like that red jump man that you saw on the bottom of the shoe that I didn't talk about earlier, but I did that time, so it's fine. Yeah, overall, I like these a fair amount. Like, more than I expected to when I first saw pictures and stuff. So I think he's going to be cool with them. You know, it's Father's Day and stuff, so he's going to get out there and he's going to go and do grilling, I guess. That's what he's going to do, because that's what he does most of the time. Or just be outside moving stuff around. But anyways, so yeah, that's going to be it. I don't think there's anything else to say. Like I said, got another review maybe coming tomorrow and probably a live coming this weekend on a totally different topic. So that's going to be it, right? Yeah, pretty sure it is. So ladies and gentlemen, and those that choose not to be identified, I suppose, have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are. I'm going to get this video uploaded. So hopefully you can see it tonight. Unless you're going to be watching Who Has the Heat and checking out What the Sneakers, who also joined me on the live earlier. So, again, got to keep the promotions going. So, whatever you're doing, watch something that's pretty all right, and then tell me about it in the comments. Later, people.